fundamental a fundamental part of what it means to be human is that you have to exist in a state for for a short amount of time at the beginning of your life in which you cannot live outside of a certain environment but that doesn't mean you're less human and it doesn't take away all of your rights that you have as a human being And, it's, and the psychopath also socially constructs value. So how do you how do you ever condemn a psychopath for what he does? So, what do you mean socially constructs? Because, because that be, it's such a misappropriation of words that's not even funny. What do you mean the psychopath individually socially constructs? That's like an oxymoron. There. Well, they could do it collectively. So what? So 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 a, a bunch of psychopaths could collectively create no it's not this could completely this this could totally happen and 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 so people people who va people who value cannibalism people who value killing a certain group of other people that's actually been normal for throughout the whole entirety of history is that there are certain groups that hate other groups and they think it's okay to kill them their collective mentality is that they should kill another group of people how do you tell them they're wrong you can't in your worldview, it's okay for them to go and rape and pillage and kill other groups of people if they want to. Because it's their collective decision that they don't want that. If they're the larger collective, then that's what's justified. Cannibalism happens when there is a material need, when they cannot find other things to eat. And it also happens when there's no material need. Cannibalism is a ritual. It is not something that people do for need. It is a mortuary ritual. Which only proves my point. Huh? Which, which proves my point and disproves you. Not really, no. Yeah, because yours is all about material needs. Yes. Yeah. I just got a question for both you guys. I'm personally a Christian, so I, I say the Bible, but um, I'm just curious, what do you guys, both of you guys, define as the truth? Uh, that which comports with reality. Okay, so, so like, I'm just curious what you guys Yeah, so the theory of knowledge that Marxists have developed over time is this idea of scientific knowledge, i.e. that we have to approach the world first by creating theory about it, then by experimenting with the material, like the reality around it, confirming or denying that uh, theory, and then out of that producing our knowledge. Uh, this always, however, is dialectical, which means we're always in process. So rather than like a one definitive truth, we are always in the process of attaining truth. So okay. That's our theory. But you do believe there is a truth, right? If there is a truth, it is hard for us to find, essentially. Uh, that right now we are not in the midst of it, essentially. Uh, is that true? The end of history is what reveals truth. Okay, Do you know that that's true right now? Yeah, so again, there's a difference between what we would define as big T true and little t true. So i.e. we have these small little experiments that we define as little t true. But the big T true of like, is there X, Y, or Z as a big philosophical question? That is something that we have to be in the continual, uh, continual investigation of essentially. Well, how can you define it if you don't know what the true nature of reality is in the first place? How could you ever make, how could you ever make it clear that we have a dialectical material analysis of the world Right, but but for for all you know, that's a big dream. So you, that doesn't work because for all you know, for all you know, those experiments you're doing are illusions in your consciousness. So that your materialism doesn't work. Again, so we'll, we'll reiterate this question: When you read the Bible, how do you know you're not hallucinating? Because if I was hallucinating, if I wasn't reading the true inspired Word of God, then knowledge would not be possible, and we, I wouldn't have revelation from the all-knowing being to justify beliefs. Materiality, I also know knowledge wouldn't be possible, and therefore no. I wouldn't be able to know the materiality, and that would cause the same issue. No, because you're not trusting in omniscience. You don't have omniscience informing you of what's true about reality. You're stuck with your finite consciousness okay. that can't justify beliefs because you don't know everything. I'm trusting in a worldview in which somebody does know everything, and he tells me what's true. I started from the starting point of that omniscience must exist. What right. I'm saying is that any proof that you have along the way must be material. There's no. Any form of thought process that you have, any revelation from the paper, anything of that sort you, must be material. You can't demonstrate that. There's no way. Okay. Must be material? How do you know that the nature of reality is material in any way? How do you know that that you? How do you know that you touching him is not some kind of illusion in your consciousness that is an imaginary thing? It's an illusionary. This is the. I've already told you, I've already told you, God is omniscient. You're stuck with finite consciousness, I'm not. I'm trusting in a worldview that involves omniscience. You don't trust in a worldview that involves omniscience. So you're stuck with what non-omniscience gives you, which means you can't justify any belief that you have. Everything that we have is localized knowledge in terms of being able to constantly do these experiments, like I said. The problem that we have here is that you believe from the starting point that omniscience exists. 
our uh, problemization of that is that any proof that you produce for this, no matter what you're going to say next, will be material. No, it won't. No, it won't. Okay, prove, provide the proof that you have of God existing that is non-material. Um, the proof that God exists is that if he didn't exist, you couldn't prove anything. Those words are material. They come through sound. How do you know that? How do you know that? You can't prove that. What do you mean? In the same way, you can't prove it. I can prove it because God tells me, that the omniscient one tells me that material exists, but you can't de you can't demonstrate that material exists because you're not trusting in omniscience to tell you it's true. I trust you. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Um, if I could, if 